Hello, today I'm going to tie an offshore saltwater pattern called the Baby Mackerel. The hook is a Mustad saltwater hook size 6i. The first thing I'm going to do is sharpen the hook, the point, and especially the area between the barb and the point. I want a knife edge along that area. The threads I'm using is Semperfly Nano Silk 3 out. 6 out and 12 out white. Next, I'm going to start the 3 out thread behind the eyes about a third of the way back to trim the tag. Wrap a base about 5 to 6 wraps. Next, secure the eyes over the monofilament with figure 8 wraps. Whip finish, trim, and add thin head cement. Next, start the 6 out thread and wrap behind the eyes and trim the tag. Wrap along the straight portion of the hook to make a base. Next, take a section of the white super hair synthetic fibers, about, a, about the half the diameter of a pencil, and taper the ends with taper scissors. Measure, split the fibers evenly in half and secure under the hook starting behind the eyes and wrap along the threaded area. Fold the excess portion back and trim shorter than the previous fibers. Taper the ends, split the fibers evenly and secure from underneath and build up the thread. Next. Add the white wing flash from the top of the hook behind the eyes and wrap along the threaded area of the hook, slightly longer than the previous wing. Next, take another section of white super hair, the same amount as previous underwing, taper the ends and secure on top of the hook behind the eyes, slightly longer than the previous wing. Fold over the excess, measure and trim on an angle, and taper the ends. Secure and build up the thread. Next, wrap the yellow big fish fiber, same diameter, secure it on top of the hook slightly longer than the previous wing, and build up the thread. Next, wrap a dozen or so strands of light blue flashaboo and secure on top of the hook behind the eyes, about halfway back. Fold over the excess flashaboo and secure it on top of the hook, slightly shorter than the previous wing. Next, take the black big fish fiber, taper the ends and secure it on top of the hook slightly longer than the previous wing. Loop the fibers in front of the eyes and measure with the rest and secure. Trim the excess loop in front of the eyes and build up the thread, whip finish and add head cement. Next, secure the wing with lead wire to keep him out of the way and take the polar fiber streamer brush. Brush out the fiber so they're sticking out at a right angle to the wire stem and trim the tying point the same length as the threaded area. Tie it underneath the hook and build up the thread and whip finish. Next, pull the fibers to one side of the wire stem and wrap forward edge to edge along the threaded portion and secure by the stem behind the eyes. Build up the thread and brush out the fibers. Next, 
Take a dozen or so strands of peacock curl. Even out the tips, remove the lead wire around the wing. Secure the hurl in front of the eyes on top of the hook, slightly past the previous wing. Next, add the blue synthetic fibers in front of the eyes over top of the hurl, slightly longer than the hurl. Then bring the thread back behind the eyes and secure and trim the excess flush with the wraps. Wrap the thread forward in front of the eyes. Next, take the white Icelandic sheep fur, split it evenly in half and secure it in front of the eyes from underneath the hook, then wrap the thread behind the eyes to secure. Next, take a second and a third segment of white Icelandic sheep fur and secure it along each side of the wing left and right behind the eyes. Same length as the belly wing and trim the excess flush with the wraps at the eyes and build up the thread. Next, trim the excess butts around the eyes, flush with the wraps, and add head cement. Next, split the thread, wax, and add steelhead blue ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin to secure. Brush out the fibers, add the hackle plier and wrap edge to edge behind the eyes first, then in between. Then finish in front of the eyes and secure by the thread in front of the eyes and trim. Build up the thread, whip finish and brush out the dubbing. Next, start the 12 odd thread and secure it in front of the eyes and trim the tag. Add another layer of blue synthetic fibers on top of the hook, slightly longer than the longest part of the wing, and trim the excess. Next, add another layer of blue flashaboo, the same amount as last time. Secure and double over the flashaboo. Unsecure. Both sides should be even. Next, add the white super hair from underneath the hook slightly longer than the shortest belly wing. Double over and trim the other side so they're both even. Take Next, secure the black Icelandic sheep on top of the hook in front of the eyes about halfway on the wing and trim the excess. Build up the thread, whip finish, trim, and add head cement. Next, take all the wing fibers and pull them back tight and wrap the 12 out thread around it and in behind the eyes. We trim the tag. Next, take about a dozen strands of pearl flashaboo, wet it first and drain the water, this will keep it together, and fold it over the thread so they're even and secure at the middle of the collar. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Next, take a piece of red polar fiber, prepare it, comb out the short under fur, and secure on the side of the collar over top of the pearl flashaboo, and repeat on the other side. Whip finish and trim. Add red thread to cover the white collar. Whip finish, trim, and add thin head cement over the collar and in between the eyes. Once it's dry, Add the five minute epoxy over the collar to secure it and let it dry. Once the epoxy is completely dry, start the 12 out thread in front of the eyes and trim the tag. Split the thread, wax and add silver black ice dub loosely. Double over the thread and add the dubbing twister and spin to secure. Brush out the dubbing and attach hockle plier. Wrap the dubbing in front of the eyes on the threaded area edge to edge and secure by the thread and trim the tag. Whip finish and brush out the dubbing.
Next, take a segment of pearlescent flashaboo and secure it in front of the dubbing on top of the hook, slightly shorter than the longest part of the wing. Next, add white pearl flash wing fibers under the hook between the eyes slightly shorter than the previous belly wing and trim the excess. Next, tie in the blue dyed horsetail on top of the hook slightly longer than the longest part of the wing and secure. Next, secure the white super hair under the hook with the ends tapered slightly longer than the previous belly wing. Next, take a dozen or so strands of peacock curl. Even the tips and secure on top of the horsetail slightly longer than and secure. Trim the excess material so you can whip finish. Next, take the red polar fiber secure it under the hook for the throat. Have the tips even with the hook point. Next, take two dyed blue grizzly saddle hackle, measure about three quarters of the length of the wing and secure on each side of the eyes by the stem and wood finish. Next, separate the fibers at the eye from the top and the bottom wing and trim flush with the thread on a taper with frayed scissors. Build up the thread, whip finish and trim. Next, wrap the red thread over the white, whip finish, trim and add thin head cement. And finally, add the five minute epoxy after the head is completely dry, apply it evenly around the head. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and leave a like to see more advanced flight tying videos.